Good morning, Riverwood, and happy Wednesday. Always know that you are loved and missed and prayed for. Always know that you are a blessing to our church family and to so many others. In the first chapter of the Gospel of John, there is a beautiful description of Christ and his coming into the world. It's quite different than his birth story in some of the other Gospels. As part of that chapter, John writes this, The true light, which gives light to everyone, was coming into the world. He was in the world, and the world was made through him. Yet the world did not know him. He came to his own, and his own people did not receive him. But to all who did receive him, who believed in his name, he gave the right to become children of God. Verse 10 says that the world did not know him. We see that many times in John's Gospel, where people are in the presence of Christ, but don't realize it and don't open their eyes to come to know him. 2,000 years later, and knowing the full story of Christ that they didn't know, it's so easy for me to criticize them. I want to yell at them through the timeline of history and say, open your eyes and realize who is right next to you and whose words you're getting to hear. Take advantage of being in his presence. And then I look at my own life and realize the times I don't see Christ and don't know Christ and don't listen to Christ, even though I may be in his presence. And even though he's my savior and redeemer, I fail to trust him like I should and fail to give him the glory and the honor that he deserves. Verse 12 helps. But to all who did receive him, who believed in his name, he gave the right to become children of God. And I realize that because of God's grace and mercy and love, and because of the blood of Christ, I'm a child of God that's been made holy, not because of what I've done, but because of what he's done. Heavenly Father, thank you for your glory and your majesty and your many blessings. Help us to see you and recognize you and know you. Help us to honor you in all that we do and to give you the glory in our lives. Be with those that don't know you and those that are unwilling to see you. Be with us in those times when we lose sight of you. Be with those that are sick and hurting and lonely. Thank you for Jesus and for his love and for his sacrifice. It's in his precious name we pray. Thank you for your love, your love for God, and your love for each other. Continue to show kindness to everyone. May today be full of blessings for you.